Good day everyone. Today, we'll discuss mathematics in our world as the second topic in this course. The specific objectives are to develop one's understanding about patterns, to identify different patterns in nature, to recognize different symmetries in nature, and to explain the presence of Fibonacci numbers in nature. So what are patterns? The mathematics in our world is rooted in patterns. Patterns are all around us. Finding and understanding patterns give us awareness to our surroundings. With patterns, we can discover and understand new things. We learn to predict and ultimately control the future for our own advantage. A pattern is a structure, form, or design that is regular, consistent, or recurring. Patterns can be found in nature, in human-made designs, or in abstract ideas. They occur in different contexts and various forms. Because patterns are repetitive and duplicative, their underlying structure regularities can be modeled mathematically. In general sense, any regularity that can be explained mathematically is a pattern. Thus, an investigation of nature's pattern is an investigation of nature's numbers. This means that the relationships can be observed, that logical connections can be established, that generalizations can be inferred, that future events can be predicted, and that control is possible. So what are the different kinds of patterns? As we look at the world around us, we can sense or creating great regularity and diversity of living and non-living things. The symphonies vary from tiny to gigantic, from simple to complex, and from dull to the bright. The kaleidoscope of patterns everywhere and they make the nature look not only fascinating but also intriguing. Paradoxically, it seems that everything in the world follows a pattern of their own and tamed by the same pattern of their own. The first is patterns of visuals. Visual patterns are often unpredictable, never quite repeatable, and often contain fractals. These patterns can be seen from the seeds and pine cones to the branches and leaves. They are also visible in self-similar replication of trees, ferns, and plants throughout nature. The second is pattern flow. The flow of liquids provides an inexhaustible supply of nature's patterns. Patterns of flow are usually found in the water, stone, and even in the growth of trees. There is also a flow pattern present in meandering rivers with a repetition of undulating lines. The next is patterns of movement. In the human walk, the feet strike the ground in the regular rhythm, the left-right, left-right, left-right rhythm. When a horse, a four-legged creature walks, there is a more complex but equally rhythmic pattern. This prevalence of pattern in locomotion extends to the scatling of insects, the flights of birds, the pulsation of jellyfish, and also the wave-like movements of fish, worms, and snakes. Patterns of Rhythm Rhythm is conceivably the most basic pattern in nature. Our hearts and lungs follow a regular repeated pattern of sounds or movement whose timing is adapted to our body's needs. Many of nature's rhythms are most likely similar to a heartbeat, while others are like breathing. The beating of a heart, as well as breathing, have a default pattern. Patterns of Texture a texture is a quality of certain object that we sense through touch. It exists as a literal surface that we can feel, see, and imagine. Textures are of many kinds. It can be bristly and rough, but it can also be smooth, cold, and hard. The last is geometric patterns. A geometric pattern is a kind of pattern which consists of a series of shapes that are typically repeated. These are regularities in the natural world that are repeated in a predictable manner. Geometrical patterns are usually visible on cacti and succulents. So what are the patterns found in nature? Common patterns appear in nature just like what we see when we look closely at plants, flowers, animals, and even at our bodies. These common patterns are all incorporated in many natural things. 
Examples are waves and dunes. A wave is a form of disturbance that carries energy as it moves. Waves are of different kinds. Mechanical waves, which propagate through a medium, air or water, making it oscillate as waves pass by. Wind waves, on the other hand, are surface waves that create the chaotic patterns of the sea. Similarly, water waves are created by energy passing through the water, causing it to move in a circular motion. Likewise, ripple patterns and dunes are formed by sand wind as they pass over the sand. In some animals, we can see spots and stripes. We can see patterns like spots on the skin of a giraffe or a dalmatian. On the other hand, stripes are visible on the skin of a zebra. Patterns like spots and stripes that are commonly present in different organisms are the results of a reaction diffusion system according to Alan Turing. The size and the shape of, of the pattern depend on how fast the chemicals diffuse and how strongly they interact. The next are spirals. The spiral pattern exists in the scale of the cosmos to the minuscule forms of microscopic animals on Earth. The Milky Way that contains our solar system is a barred spiral galaxy with a band of bright stars emerging from the center running across the middle of it. Spiral patterns are also common and noticeable among plants and some animals. Spirals appear in many plants such as pine cones, pineapples, and sunflowers. On the other hand, Animals like ram and kudu also have spiral patterns on their horns. There are also symmetries. In mathematics, if a figure can be folded or divided into two with two halves which are the same, such figure is called a symmetric figure. Symmetry has a vital role in the pattern formation. It is used to classify and organize information about patterns by classifying the motion or deformation of both pattern structures and processes. There are many kinds of symmetry, and the most important ones are reflections, rotations, and translations. These kinds of symmetries are less formally called blips, turns, and slides. So what is reflection symmetry? It is sometimes called line symmetry or mirror symmetry. It captures symmetries when the left half of a pattern is the same as the right half. Rotations, also known as rotational symmetry. It captures symmetries when it still looks the same after some rotation of less than one full turn. The degree of the rotational symmetry of an object is recognized by the number of distinct orientations in which it looks the same for each rotation. On the other hand, translations is another type of symmetry. Translational symmetry exists in patterns that we see in nature and in man-made objects. Translations acquire symmetries when units are repeated and turn out having identical figures, like the bees honeycomb with hexagonal tiles. So what are the symmetries that can be found in nature? From the structure of the subatomic particles to that of the entire universe, symmetry is present. The presence of symmetries in nature does not only attract our visual sense but it also plays an integral and prominent role in the way our life works. For example, in the human body. The human body is one of the pieces of evidence that there is symmetry in nature. Our body exhibits bilateral symmetry. It can be divided into two identical halves. We can also see symmetries in animal movement. The symmetry of motion is present in animal movements. When animals move, we can see that their movements also exhibit symmetry. Another example is the sunflower. One of the most interesting things about the sunflower 
is that it contains both radial and bilateral symmetry. What appears to be petals in the outer ring are actually small flowers, also known as ray florets. These small flowers are bilaterally symmetrical. On the other hand, the dark inner ring of the sunflower is a class of radially symmetrical disc florets. Snowflakes also show beautiful symmetries. Snowflakes have six-fold radial symmetry. The ice free cells that make up the snowflakes are symmetrical or patterned. The intricate shape of a single arm of a snowflake is very much similar to the other arms. This only proves that symmetry is present in a snowflake. There's also symmetry in honeycombs and beehive. Honeycombs or beehives are examples of wallpaper symmetry. This kind of symmetry is created when a pattern is repeated until it covers a plane. Beehives are made of walls with each side having the same size and closed with small hexagonal cells. Inside these cells, honey and pollen are stored and bees are raised. The star plus also joins the part of symmetries. Starfish have a radial bipole symmetry. Each arm portion of the starfish is identical to each of the other regions. After learning all these things, maybe you'll look now differently at the worlds and God's creations. Patterns are everywhere. You'll notice it especially when you keenly observe. Before we end our session, let me share some interesting things. Astronomers believe that galaxies have spiral arms because galaxies rotate or spin around the central axis and because of something called density waves. Also, our solar system formed about 4.5 billion years ago from a dense cloud of interstellar gas and dust. The cloud collapsed, possibly due to the shockwave of a nearby exploding star called the supernova. When this dust cloud collapsed, it formed a solar nebula, a spinning, swirling disk of material. Here are some interesting things about the animal skin. Alan Turing published the chemical basis of morphogenesis. In this paper, he presented the theory that said patterns could spontaneously appear using nothing more than a protein's natural tendency to move randomly through tissue and interact with the cells and other proteins. For the continuation of our discussion, our next topic is the golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence. I hope that the discussed topics ignited your interest and appreciation not only to nature but also to the science and mathematics behind those. Keep learning students, stay curious. Thank you for watching. Keep safe and God bless everyone.